So the first fight that we're looking at is Phil Horse versus Deron Wynn. Somewhat of a funny fight in a way because Phil Horse is going to be six foot tall. Deron Wynn's only five foot six. For some reason, someone said that uh, Deron Wynn uh, weighed in at 195 for a 185 fight in his last one, but that's just not true. That was a catchweight fight uh, against Antonio Arojo. But before that, though, he is one and two in the UFC. He's got that weird win. Uh, not really a weird win, but a win over a, in a weird card in the um, Tito Ortiz um, versus Chuck Liddell, I believe, three and a half years ago. I believe that was the where he got the win. But anyway, since then, he's also a uh, Dana White's contender series guy. And uh, no, Dana White's contender series guy. What an idiot. Um, he's Daniel Cormier's boy. He's Daniel Cormier's prospect. Daniel Cormier's built up Duran Wynn to be uh, a good MMA fighter. He's made it to the UFC. But Phil Hall's a power puncher, really. He's also got somewhat wrestling himself. Not Probably not as good wrestling, pure wrestling as Duran Wynn. Uh, to be fair, but I do think that Phil Hawes is going to knock Deron Wynn out. His size advantage is too much, man. Like, if you think about it, Deron Wynn's so small, and Phil Hawes is going to be so much bigger. I, I can see Phil Hawes knocking this guy out, um, knocking him out probably in the first or the second round. I'm going to go Phil Hawes by KO.